Hello and welcome to the next episode. Between episodes I made a little bit of a break, made myself some tea because of my itchy voice a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to cancel the spy network here in France because I don't think that I want to go to war here right now. The fact is that I don't feel strong enough. I want to repay some loans. I want to rate out my war extortion. I probably want to tech up at least one or two more times. And also just consolidate my holdings here, integrate some of my vessels and just consolidate a bit. Because right now, I don't think we, we could go to war with France, of course. It would totally work. But the problem would be that we would have a lot of aggressive expansion, which we can't handle right now. And that we don't want a coalition with France and Spain combined with the whole East. That's just too dangerous right now. So what we should do is just wait it a bit, wait out a bit, integrate our stuff here, and then from there on continue. Can we get Sabra? Uh... Hmm, no, probably not. Sadly. That would be nice, so there's some something we can return to someone. Yeah, Switzerland actually. So we could vassalize these two and then exchange provinces between them. These two could go back. That would reduce the the actual um the yeah that would change the economic score here. Might be a thing we can do. Might be an option. At least we could give stuff to to Switzerland from Savoir. That would help already. Uh, we are going to accept this. It's more corruption. We don't care. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to. Uh, we don't have 150 influence because at some point the Pope will die, and we don't. Uh, we can't rig the election right now. Actually, we. Could just do some stuff here. So, for example, we should improve relation with the Pope again. Mm, there we go. And we could also consider. Mm, oh wait, we should keep this. Oh, oh he might die though. Who knows? Run at 50 to gain one yearly for five years. No, that's not worth it. Mm, but we can do the... Um, yeah, I want to have one free diplomat here in case the Pope dies and then we lose one diplomat and I don't want this to be our annexations, which could happen. I've seen this bug before. One of the weird things of the engine and how EU4 works. Inquisitor has died. Unlucky, but we still have one, right? Yeah, we do have one here. Awesome. We should, however, switch to a tier 3 military advisor. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and here I'm going to make a time skip because right now we're just waiting out for our annexations here. Um, and then wait for a good timing to attack France. Or Austria and yeah, probably France because we want to expand in France and get closer to the Roman Empire actually. So one last thing we need 44 more provinces that shouldn't be a problem. We need 25 more provinces in France and we need 19 more provinces in Spain. All no problem that should all be possible relatively soonish. Well let's continue here and see you in like two three years here. Well, this game never disappoints. We have a very good air, and of course he goes hunting, so... But he is also drunkard, so that does do us a favor here. Oh no! He's gone. But we got a new air, Cosimo. Which is terrible. Great. At least we have an air. But... Secretive. That's a good trade. That's impossible. I still want to disinherit him, but after the annexations, probably... Because low prestige would increase the annexation cost here. Yeah. We are at minus 4%, so we would go down 
That's too much. I don't want to fault this. Spain is doing something. Ah, still the war with the Netherlands. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I mean, while I invested 150 into the Pope here, just to make sure that we have a decent chance of getting and becoming the Pope again. Now, we don't have diplomatic relations for free, but I'm looking towards specializing Switzerland here and also allying Stavra here. So this would be the next improvement here, please. And then we maybe can do some work here. Atlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. Can we sell stuff again? No, we can't. They have loans, probably. <laughs> we should see who we can sell to. Selling to Savra would actually be useful here. If we can. Let's see. We could go temporarily over cap because our annexation will finish this year. But the loss is not significant here. The Bulistan has left. I'm not going to go through this one. It's another event where someone gets dip or admin. Offer knowledge. Threatened attitude towards Italy. Okay. Oh, we have claims on them. That's why. Uh, but I want to try to get them friendly and potentially vassalize them later on. And yeah, we are over kept now. That's fine though. Hmm. Let's recall this guy here. If a sanction for war, we don't need and we can't re renew this one right now. The end of peasant war, that's good. So Poland is stronger again. Indulge with Peddler, we already knew this multiple times, we are going to do allow it. We should reform our church though. Mm. Okay, now we can negotiate an alliance here. Make them friendly towards us. Better break the alliance, perfect. Now they also would like to get our knowledge right. Yes. Ah, oh, no, they are buying from Spain, obviously. Ah, we were too late. So, who else could we sell to? Who else can we sell to? Anyone in here who has decent income? Hmm. Maybe Meissen. 0 0.25, better than nothing. Everything that helps us getting our balance in, in shape, I will gladly take. And our annexation is almost done. Perfect. Okay, recall. We can now do a guarantee here. And afterwards, we also go for the trade. Um, 25 dip, yes, please. Monks preach against heresy and tolerance. Yeah, encourage conversion. Definitely. So, in theory, we are at 88 to 149. That's good. Uh, we just got the Florence army. We're going to disband it there. This lead, we also don't need this ship here. This one will join the others, and now we can state Florence here, Tuscany, and get all their income into our pockets here with the next <laughs> taxation update. Mm. I'm leaning towards annexing Friuli here now. No, Padua, not Friuli. Because we can make new vessels here from Trieste, for example, and give them. Austrian provinces if we want to and need to. So, yeah. 
think that's a good idea. We do have to dip right now and I want to use it. Now, we have improved relations here. Now, um, we are gaining 0 0.5 favors here. That's good. And we're going to use these favors to return core provinces here. Of Switzerland, as soon as we have vassalized Switzerland here. But I'm going to wait a bit. No, in fact, I'm not going to wait a bit here. I'm going to do this right now. Just to get everything started. Um, new alliance. Oh, they are a free city. We can't vassalize them. Oh, I should have paid attention to this. This means we are going to cancel the alliance. That will lose us trust, most likely, with some stuff around us. Eh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we didn't lose trust here. No, we didn't. Okay, but they hate this, of course. Yeah, we can't. Uh, okay, that's a problem. Mm. Okay, I'm not sure that my plan just screwed itself, but still. Having Savra as an ally is decent, we can still turn on him later on. This will make sure that he doesn't get too much aggressive expansion later on, and we can also uh, get the trade power from him. So that should be fine. We can use our diplomats now to, for example, improve on Trieste here for a potential vassalization. Hmm. Hmm. Truces until 69. Ah, our heir. We could also use this guy. Yeah, he's terrible, so we can use him, actually. Uh, Switzerland broke the alliance with the Papal States. Interesting. Now, would we be able to... No. It wouldn't join right now, but we could get Poland and Bohemia. It should be enough. So maybe we just take the tech here. Mm. New infantry behind this. But still, we are at 36 now and France is at 34. Um, the tactics tick is at 35. So this is a very good time window right now to declare war. So we are going to increase we make a spy network again, and let's prepare for war here. We're going to go to 10 cavalry. Oh no, wait a second, that's not going to work. We have to wait for the next year. Because unit of recruitment is cancelled at the 1st of January to avoid any manpower cheats. Okay. Main question is just how do we handle Austria? Yeah, how do we handle Austria? Oh, diplomat has died. That's not cool. So we have to take this guy. We can't promote him. That. Why, why are we at minus 12 now? What? What? Why are the realm expenses so high? There's something in Florence still which is calculated in? No. But what we can do is get rid of these castles here. And this castle. We are only getting 0 0.25? Really? Why are we getting so little income out of Florence here? Hmm. Date which is 74% here. Oh, wait a second. What's our taxation laws? Ooh. Yeah, we should. <laughs> we should work on our taxation, actually. So we do have enough here to do taxation laws. 
Mm, we have to wait until we have an influence interaction up again. Yeah, we, we definitely need to do stuff here. So Triest here would be called into the war, which is fine. Hmm. Do I want to do this? And the question is, how do I want to do this? I think that I'm going to move my army to Austria first. On the other hand, then we definitely can expect Mallorca to die here. And the Aragonese troops, which is annoying as well. But we could wait until the Aragonese annexation is done, which is in like 10 months. And declare war then. That it would at least solve one stupidity thing. How many troops do Austria have? Does Austria have? 30,000. Oof, 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 oof. Austria is rich, my friends. Yeah, so maybe actually we do want to get out of here. And work on kicking Austria out of the war first. So we move to Venice, for example, here. So we go after Austria and Trieste and then white piece Austria out of the war and then move westward. Maybe that's the only sensible chance we do have here. And we just lost a general. Can we recruit a new one? Maybe we can get a siege guy. Ooh. Not a siege guy, but still five shock. That's nice. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to make a very short break because um, I want to be concentrated when doing this war. So we are going to declare war when the annexation is through. And then we continue. And then we go to war, I mean. So, um, yeah. See you in a sec.